and it leveled up to comfortable, which gave me a modifier. If we put this there, unbreakable. Ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of V for Variety Unbreakable! I am DJ Master, and I shall be your dragon on today's adventure! So, last episode we messed with the farmer thingy from the mod that sucks. Yep, the uh, automation mod i forget what it was called um progressive automation i think it was yeah progressive automation uh, and it sucked so i just said this episode the next episode we were probably going to do a bunch of cool stuff well we are in a new biome uh this is where i decided to make our final spawn home um in this little i don't know it seems weird it's like a little outcove amongst all these trees um there are stuff nearby like little water sources and little apple trees and whatnot. Oop, oop, not, don't get too close to the apple trees. There is a beehive over there. Um, yeah, so this is our little temporary home. It won't look like this when we're done, but we live in a tree right now. One hobble to the next, but at least stuff is inside, unlike before. So that's all good. Got a bunch of lava. Uh, 54 tanks left, but I did make 48, I used 48 buckets of that to make obsidian, because what we're going to do today is I need to actually get some mining tools. Now, I was going to go about things a little differently um, than using tinkers, but I'm going to end up using tinkers. Um, we, we may move away from some of that stuff eventually, but right now we're using tinkers, and what I was going to use is if I type in drill i was i am going to try to get to the actually additions drill but that takes three diamonds and three blocks of iron and a bunch of stuff a bunch of more blocks of iron and whatnot like that but they all have to be transformed into these particular types of blocks and that takes power and whatnot that i don't have and did you see that dude ah ha 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 you think you're so smart you think you're so clever. You think you're sneaky and creepy and... Ha! Gotta wake up pretty early in the morning to sneak a fast one on Digi. <laughs> Not really. I was lucky. So, we're gonna do some tinker stuff today. I think I'm gonna make a hammer to go mining with. Um, I also might make a lumber axe, but right now just a hammer. Uh, and we're going to do that. So I got some stuff in my inventory to make aluminum things. I hope this comes into aluminum. I'm pretty sure this is aluminum for us. Uh, so we need to get some other things. Like I want, it's going to have an obsidian head. So I have enough to do that right there, I believe. Um, what else do we want? We are going to probably want to kick... We may not have to kick up that, but we don't need that right now anyway. Uh, what do we... Let's look at this. This is new. This is all new. Let's look at materials. Like, I'm going to use the obsidian for the head, and the reason is, is it now has cobalt level, mining level, which is pretty cool. Um, it only gives it 139 durability, which is not bad. Don't use it for the handle, that's for sure. So what do we want to use for our handle? So let's just go back and go back to materials. Um, what's... What's iron do? What, what can we do for that for the handle? Like gives 60 durability and and it attracts things, so that's kind of cool. Um, I want to use some of this night slime, but I don't know how to get it. I think it's probably from killing the the night the slime king, maybe, because it's it's really cool. I mean, it gives 500 durability. And it mines faster the higher the mining level is above the required item. So that's pretty cool. Oops, not modifiers. Uh, obviously that's good, but I can't get any of that right now. Or idart or cobalt. It's copper do. 
30, not good. It's probably just going to make it out of iron. Probably iron. Okay. Well, that's weird. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's just do iron. What the whole... Oh, uh, that's probably going to smite. So, how much iron do we have? We have 39, so hopefully that works for us. We're going to go... To, oh, we also want some paper, but there's plenty of that stuff near spawn. So let's go ahead and zoom off. We got our boots on, so that's good. Spawn's just over there. We're going to use Kinema's uh, smeltery, because we can. <laughs> our smeltery is all the way back at our base, and we don't have all of the aluminum plates, so... That's what we're going to do. His is all cool and whatnot. One more good burst should get us really close. Except for these trees. These trees are a little annoying. Hey, it's Finaqua. Boom, boom. Boop. Oh, you see, I got four hearts you saw from last episode, which is awesome. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Stop. First of all, let's go in this little house of his. Need to get some water here shortly. Because this is where the tool forge is. Boop. And let's look at hammer. It changed. No, two plates, a tough rod, and a hammer. So it's going to take a lot of iron to get this done. Do I even... I know I have enough. Eight. Eight. And what, three? It's a lot of iron. I wish I had... Oh, wait, we also want to make one paper, so we don't need that much. Boom, done. Okay, okay. So, let's grab a bunch of these reeds. All right, that should be enough. The um, reason we have so much obsidian... I'll tell you guys in a little bit so let's see if there's anything in here hey right, there's five blocks of obsidian cool so we gotta burn one two three four five six seven eight for the head so let's get that going uh we need eight of that and is that all that goes in yeah okay so let's take two out all right, we'll let that burn up, and then we will make our hammer, and then when I got everything else ready to go, like the hammer and everything ready to put together, I will bring us back. All right. We are back in, and I made a bunch of stuff. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to access this thing, and we're going to make our hammer. So our hammer is going to be an obsidian head. An iron plate, this, that, and that guy. I don't know which looks cooler. I'll take that one. Um, it's cobalt. It's only got 412 durability, which sucks. It's mining speed. It's bleh. And it's got four modifiers. Aw. I thought it would have five. How do we give things an extra modifier here? We need five modifiers, so let's see. Modifiers. Blasting. Moss. I don't think you can actually give things extra modifiers anymore. At least, I don't know, you should be able to. I don't know. We, but yeah, here we go. <laughs> we make this. Let's make it the Digi Ham Ham. Digi Ham Ham. Alright, so we got that. Now we need to go into here and we need to make these reinforcement guys. Now, what these reinforcement guys do, so you need 4,500 experience to level that up. I wonder how fast that'll go up. Because that'll give us an extra modifier. Give us the five. 
But what we're going to do with that is we're going to go into this thing and we're just going to add, well, all of those to this and it gives us 20% reinforcement. And I think if we do this, we can add it all. Okay, maybe not. 60, 80, and if we had another one, we could, if we had another thingamajig, we could actually get it up to 100% and make it unbreakable. So we are, well, I'm going to go mine with this thing. So let's go test it out though. And where better to test it out in an area that can super break things? The nether, even though it scares the poop out of me. <laughs> let's go to the nether and do a little quick mining. Okie dokie, we're here, um, I know, get off the stupid stuff, there we go, I know Kinema made a little 3x3 three three here, so let's just go ahead and start doing it this way. So how fast is that leveling, it's at 27 already, because that's the whole purpose, is to try to level it up, and we have nether... Um, stuff all up in here. Oh yeah, that's going to go pretty quickly. So that's how I'm going to level this bad boy up. So I'm going to level this bad boy up, and I'm going to do some mining here in the nether uh, to get a bunch of good stuff, hopefully. <laughs> if it's not all god, cut him off. And then I will be back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. We are back. I've done a little bit of mining. Here, let's look. Uh, you just get some good stuff from the nether. Not, not a whole lot. Coal, bunch of little nuggets. <laughs> um, I got a little bit of iron, just like five ingots from there. That's from silverfish, but I uh, got nether quartz, got quite a bit of that, some emeralds and whatnot. If we look here though, I got it fully repaired and it leveled up to comfortable, which gave me a modifier. If we put this there, unbreakable. Boom! It now no longer has a durability level. So you know why we did that even though this isn't that great of a, a pick? Because this is the Unbreakable Pack! Look, it's kind of a... It fits the theme of the mod pack now. <laughs> I have it back. Thank you. It's unbreakable. All right, so now we have that. Now we can go do some good mining. Um, off camera, I'm probably going to do a bunch of that mining. I need to get some water. But there's a lot of cool things in Tinkers but I, that have changed. So we'll probably dabble in it. But like normal, I'm not going to use these forever. Um, because it's Tinkers. They're kind of just end-all, be-all tools. It's cool that we have the levels um, for the things. But I want to dabble in some of the other tools that are available to us via the pack. Like I normally try to do. They're all types of cool weapons and things like that. Like this sword right here, it's not Tinkers. It is unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. One, we don't have any durability on them. So that makes it to where it's good. But it, it has no enchant on it. But it's already got Frost, which freezes enemies. Strength, which after I hit something, I have a possibility of getting a Strength bonus. Gives people Darkness and has the um, opportunity to automatically... Or er, to... Um, give what does ethereal do again oh give me a buff of some sort i i forget life steal i think is what it did i know i said before it weakened them but i read it up again and it doesn't i forget exactly what it said it did but that's really cool i mean we're coming along on that kind of, oh wow yeah um i need food okay yeah i'm about to eat everything in my in my my lunchbox just to have full food so we definitely need to work on that food front um so in between this episode and next i'm gonna go ahead and do 
maybe not a lot of mining, but quite a bit of mining to get us set up to get some power going, get uh, ore doubling going without the smeltery, so that way you don't have to build one of those in our place. Um, and then we can just start construction of the house, uh, possibly get a kitchen going with... Uh, what is it called? Cooking for for blockheads. So we can get started with the cooking for blockhead stuff. And that'll help us a lot with this. And we'll get some stuff going. Alright guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to click that like button. It helps me out a lot and keeps these episodes flowing. If you want to play along with us, the in the description below is a link to the mod pack for the curse launcher. Alright guys. This is Digimaster. Saying goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.